Okay, the fifth principle is defined as the focus of force. Uh, the focus of force is uh, kind of a complex one. What it really, what it, what's designed to do is to teach you how to be accurate with the end of the weapon. In other words, like if you're trying to hammer, you know, a nail into a piece of wood, is, is learning how to, to hit the nail perfectly with the end of the hammer in here so you don't glance off, you know, and bend the nail. Everyone's ever tried to, you know, hammer a nail in or screw a, you know, a piece of a screw into a wood and they kind of don't got the drill, the driver, the screw right on an angle and they're stripping it. That's kind of what focus of force is. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's more than that too. So it's really about accuracy, uh, hitting, you know, with the right part of your hand in here. Uh, and it's also about learning, again, how to transfer some of that energy into the striking here so it blows the target away. Remember, with this type of striking, you're trying to create a, a, a shattering uh, explosive effect like you know, kind of like pushing the windshield of a car you want the thing just to boom blow open like this here we're definitely not trying to uh, hit with any kind of surface oriented force meaning well you know well what I, what I, what I don't want to do is especially if it's a power strike right because when people get in a power strike and a lot of times what can happen they're so focused on getting their fist there right that they forget about aiming in other words, they or they turn the strike into an artless technique. They don't follow the line of force. So what they'll kind of do is in here is they'll, they'll stand here and they're going to, I'm going to throw my, my rear cross again. And uh, here, let's turn just a little bit this way. And they're going to throw their rear cross. And the, instead of the punch driving through, what they'll do is they'll, you know, they may load the punch a little bit, but they'll glance like this. Okay, so when they hit the here like this, they hit with a bent position. And now that the force is kind of dissipating all over the place now. And the problem with doing that, especially in a reactive situation where you don't know where a person's head's gonna be, and even if you have gloves and hand wraps on, this is why fighters break their hands, is because they hit in a bent position and they end up turning to what was a driving type punch into a swatting type punch. Okay, very common with hook punches, and I see a lot of fighters, you know, they may throw the, throw the, 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 uh, the technique on the pad this way, Okay, so if it's got it here, you know, they, throw, they throw it, you know, here, but in the fight, they're like this, right? They put their wrist in an in a unnatural position, and the skeletal muscular structure just doesn't bend it that far anymore. And then again, for every action, there's an equal opposite reaction. So remember we talked about body stabilization? So now that the body may be stabilized, but the, guess where the weak point is? It's in the wrist. So the, this part of the body doesn't even have a chance to feel the resistance. It's like this. Okay, so that would be kind of a definition of not focusing the force. So I like to practice with bare fists, but whatever level you think you're at, you practice with gloves or wraps or whatever. Okay, but in my, in, in my opinion, if you're trying to find the optimal, you want to train with what you're going to fight in. So if you're training with, you know, for MMA, don't be doing this with boxing gloves and 10 yards of gauze up to here on your hands. That's unrealistic. And what happens is it doesn't give you the confidence. You don't really know if your, your punch is in the optimal position. Hitting close to a bare fist or a small glove or a hand wrap or even just a weightlifting glove that just protects your skin so you don't cut your skin because sometimes you can tear your skin open and it, doesn't, it takes forever to heal. Is It makes you uh, put the strike right, you know, in the right spot every single time. In other words, like you have no choice but to be exactly right. So when I focus the force in here, you know, what that would mean is, is I load the punch like this, okay? As I load the punch, and again, I'm exaggerating because this is just for the drill to teach you how to throw, swing the baseball bat. As I load the punch in here, I want to make sure that I follow the line of force all the way through like this, okay? So I'm hitting basically with the center of my fist, all of my knuckles. No, not the, t not the two knuckles that everybody thinks you're supposed to hit with. Now that's unrealistic and just from research it shows it's just how the metal carpal bones just really don't hold up. So I don't agree with that. All right? And I've never had a problem hurting my hand whatsoever and I've hit a lot of things. Is to hit as flat as possible. And remember, when you're hitting a human skull, okay, let's put this down, you have no idea where this guy's head's going to be. So let's say I'm throwing the technique and he drops his forehead down at the last moment I hit here. Boom! I'd rather hit flat with my hand like this. I have less of a chance of breaking it. I'm probably going to hurt it. 
But if I try to hit with you know, two knuckles or hit crooked or something here, I'm really going to put a stress fracture in there, okay? So if you're going to, you know, there's, this is not saying you're not going to hurt your hand, but, you know, if I had a choice, I'd rather try to, and I'm going, well, I'm going to minimize the damage on my hand. I want to make sure I hit as, as, as in a structurally strong position as possible, okay? So focusing the force in here would be learning how to, from a point of conception, okay, to, uh, uh, to the point of, and, and aiming that thing in here, right, in here like that. And if I'm doing it relatively right, he should feel like there's a spiral of energy going right through the target. All my energy is being transferred in this little area, right? As opposed to if I swat, right, or hit with a palm or something like that, there's a bigger surface area to hit with, and a lot of the times the force will go all over the place, right? So focusing the force is learning how to really act, actively put that strike and penetrate right through the target in here, irregardless of what strike or technique, and then that is what drops people. Let's go on to the next technique.